had a couple issues. One is the buzz ducts and the other one is the electrical infrastructure was at the end of life so they need to be upgraded. The hospital has to test uh, the generators. There's a five to six minute downtime at that period. Due to this five to six minute downtime that can cause issues with the hospital's operating procedures and because obviously they lose power therefore this, that can cause delays in the servicing of the generators because they can't actually afford that five to six minutes of downtime. Probably two to three months worth of planning um, to get the generators service guys to come in and organise the shutdowns and procedures to put in place. The three monthly testing we have a contractor come in to run that. The one that takes the most clinical impact and is the yearly black start where we actually turn off the mains power and let the generators work naturally and kick in. That takes months of coordination with the hospital in terms of making sure no one's on the operating tables. We have equipment that's going to lose power, so it's, it takes months of planning each year. Jeff Davis from NHP met with the hospital and after understanding what their requirements and what they were looking for, uh, detailed the technology of the Terasaki ACB to the hospital. Terasaki ACBs allows for closed transition switching, which allows for the hospital to maintain power at all times. The project includes cubic modular switchboards, some HV or MV switch gear. The technology involved in this project is the latest technology in terms of the switch gear, in terms of the buzz type, in terms of the boards, generator, main boards, the transformers. There's whole levels of different solutions NHP have provided. Within a switch room, there's a lot of infrastructure and design that needs to be put in place, not just switchboards and transformers. Down and New have done a great job, very neat and tidy cable tray, which takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to design, um, and it really finishes off the project. As a hospital, we always have space limitations, fit all the equipment in. It's a juggling act. Unlike at the Victorian Comprehensive Cancer Centre, where we were able to design it from the very beginning to allow enough space, at this site we had to make sure everything fitted and worked within a confined area. So within the allowed space we did have space limitations and uh, we working with the contractors on site we were able to design the modular switchboard system with the transformers. Um, a lot of work went into place with regards to measurements within the switch room to ensure that it would meet current regulations, current standards. The hospital is able to maintain power at all times to complete their generator testing. By the setup and design of the infrastructure, they won't need that five to six minute downtime to do their servicing of the generators. And the planning will be able to be put in place months to years ahead. As power is being maintained, they can organise the servicing to be conducted and no one would even know it's being done. The step change for this from the current old infrastructure is it's old, very small amount of generator back to 20-30% to what will almost be 95-100% to generator back for the site. It means the infrastructure is better linked with the Monash children in terms of the same systems. Working with NHP has been great. The systems, the structure of the equipment is absolutely wonderful. The NHP gear within this site is some of the best gear recommended by our consultants because it makes a much better, simpler process.